Hi, well, it is 8.15 right now. It's time for another Hometown Spotlight brought to you by Dave Edwards Toyota. And today we're in Greenville County to highlight a very important thing. It's a life-saving cause. So the blood connection there is asking for more blood, something you probably heard a few times. But Christine and photographer Ryan, they're out there showing why it's so needed right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Christine. Yeah, guys, especially right now. Yeah, you know, you do. You probably hear it all the time. The blood connection needs blood. Donate blood today. Well, you know, now a really great time to donate blood. We've got Blake here, lab technician. We're at the blood connection, but guys, you're not going to see any big buses here. We're in the lab. Check this out, the biologic processing center. Blake, I think this is cool. You're giggling. I definitely think it's cool. But this is really, really neat. I think it's really and neat. You are a, a extremely excited technician. Absolutely. I'm glad you're here. Uh, you can talk about the need for blood, but also tell me what in the world are we looking at? Right now, you're looking at our testing lab. This is our infectious disease testing. Make sure that if someone needs blood, mm -hmm. it's ready to go out, it's clean. So blood has already been donated. It comes through here, these yes. doors, and you are now testing it for anything bad that wouldn't let it help people. Bingo, exactly. We want to make sure it's a good product so that if you need that transfusion, that's the least of your worries. It's going to be clean blood. Okay, and you know, you've got a big machine back there that tests for Zika, HIV, all different kinds of things. Why, uh, you know, is, is that important to know? Well, it's important to know for blood-borne pathogens, so we don't give that to someone else. So we make sure that even as a donor, you know if you have that coming in. So that's a secondary thing we get from it. Very good. It's important for viewers at home to know this too, right? You're going to want them to donate, want them to give. Um, you're right here on the front lines. You know, you have a really special, probably, uh, ability to to tell people how great the need is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we have a need of blood for different situations, especially sickle patients. Please tell me. For those people, it's an African-American blood disorder for the most part, and we get blood because of ethnic differences from African-Americans, and they need that type of blood. Oh, so you're saying anybody can donate. Really, absolutely. there are no barriers. Maybe no. you've been sick. That's probably not a great yeah, thing. Really but if you're sick. Okay, because you'll use all types. We will use all types, absolutely, and need all types at all times. Okay, gotcha. O negative, obviously the best kind to give because everybody can pretty much receive that. You did have some back there, but we know everything you have overnight here pretty much gets shipped out. It gets shipped out, and blood's not infinite. You know, it's 42 days, and we need new blood in, and some products are as little as five days we need blood in. Wow. Good to know. Blake, yes. thank you for your expertise this morning. Guys, again, the need, great. Now, the cold weather uh, keeps people away many times from some of those blood yeah. donations, some of those mobile units. And if a lot of people are sick right now, which they are, we know. Time to give. WSBA.com has that info, guys. Back to you. Yeah. Thanks so much, Ron. Expanding on it, really. Yeah. We needed to hear that. All right, Christine, thanks. It's time